Good morning. Today is Friday, August 13th. I'm taking a day off work. Beauty of living in the Denver Metro is I got here in less than two hours. I am in Vail, Colorado, and I am at the Gore Creek Trailhead. This is in the Eagle's Nest Wilderness, and I am doing destination backpacking. So what I mean by that is my destination will be Gore Lake, and I believe it's at 11,300 feet. Definitely alpine and up there. Um, it's known for having goats. Read a report the other day that someone is at least alleging they saw two wolves in the area. Um, and the goats here are known to be unique as well. They can be aggressive at times, so we'll see what happens there. But I'm at least doing one night, potentially two nights. And one of the interesting things, if I go to the map, so starting here going to, excuse me, Gore Lake, is there is a route to get you to Snow Lake. And if you're really good and have mapping, you can go to the Deluge and then complete the loop. I am not planning to do that because that will take you to super high Alpine at 13. You may need equipment and ropes. If I was with a party of people doing it together, I would certainly attempt it with them. But again, that is not uh, my plan for this trip. It's more to just enjoy that lake as a base camp, explore and see what happens. So again, literally Vail, Colorado, literally right over there. So. All right, this should be a good trip. Once I get some views, I'll bring you in on it. Have my permit ready to go. And from what I read about it, the first two miles of this hike is nice. And then it goes extremely uphill again to about 11,300 feet. Last thing I'll say, it's pretty cold. It's 45 degrees as I pulled in. So it'll definitely be freezing overnight up there, but I'm ready for it. So I will check in in a bit. All right, finally got out of the tree line. It has been all uphill, 10%. So definitely an uphill hike. Gorgeous view, although you can see from here the highway. And you can hear that traffic. I will assume that will last at least a good mile into this hike. We can also see the homes on the other side. So keep in mind, what's one of the unique things about Vail, incredibly expensive real estate, and the people that live here, keep in mind, they hear that sound all day long and night so that's not even 70. but boy they certainly live in a beautiful area i believe heading in that direction and this entire hike will be uphill and gore creek is below me supposedly really good fishing so i will be doing the lake that kind of forms the headwaters of that that's my agenda is to do some fishing and again get my destination so all right i'm gonna keep marching on but again, yeah, this is a definitely a challenging hike with switchbacks and terrain to it. And no way am I saying it's incredibly challenging, but it's the real deal being here at elevation. All right, quick little drink and I'm gonna keep on going on. Now the weather is gorgeous. Beautiful, well-maintained trail. It definitely has a feeling out here like the community is out here keeping this place pristine. And I don't mean that in a bad way at all. It is just a great trail. Came across some trail food. So fresh raspberries. And these look like they're probably uh, maybe two weeks past prime. But you can still see some goodies in here if you really wanted to get in and pick. I think I'm going to get those too. And again, it's actually leveling out a little bit. So maybe the description is pretty accurate but from what i do know the last two-thirds of this hike it's a butt kicker because again it takes you to 11 3 so we'll be hitting that in a while but so far an absolutely gorgeous trail haven't seen anyone else out here and i've seen two deer so i can tell there's a abundant wildlife here but it definitely has a very well maintained feel to it when you're out here still wild but absolutely beautiful all right, still enjoying the hike, and I'm actually stopping quite a lot just to look at the scenery. Since I'm not banging out miles, I might as well enjoy everything, but gorgeous stream. A little surprise, mid-August, that thing's running great, and I'm not aware of any torrential rains that are over here. But I also, just as I pass this corner, something I don't see a lot when I'm out hiking in Colorado are blueberries. I guess saw my... Uh, 
first bush and you can't really miss it it's the middle of the trail but you can see there are various phases so i got some that are ripe ready to roll and others that are turning and as the sun hits these areas it kind of makes them different but uh pretty cool so i've seen celery rhubarb raspberries and now blueberries so i may try a couple and i can tell it's definitely starting to wind uphill now should have some sun up there but this place is fantastic all right definitely starting to get into groups of people now kind of cool i got uh, two rangers in front of me with llamas helping to pack trash in and out of here so i've talked to them for about 15 minutes little natural bridge all right back on i can tell this is a popular trail all right still making nice progress whoops rocky trail easy to follow it's flattened out finally kind of a meadow area almost feels like i'm in a uh, foot race right now <laughs> i can hear multiple groups behind me and i guess know this lake doesn't have a ton of camping spots so i think we're all trying to do the same thing and get one gorgeous though starting to see some first beetle kill first log i have to hop over and other hikers out here so all right doing good should be coming up to the grave marker soon all right so this is about two-thirds of the way beautiful area opens up a little bit the hills supposedly start now coming from over there Ben, this is a historical marker so a couple of swedes oh look at that born 1842 died 1912 Resson, born 1852 died 1917 boy making that that's some serious weight to that plaque but literally their grave markers are right here and this is pretty old can't really read that but i think that's just their names right there so i think this is the uh only historical area on the trail but kind of cool all right so i'm going to take my first break here about mm, 20 minutes or so get my bearings find out where i'm going um beautiful day obviously so far and i've had four backpackers come down everyone said the same thing it's great the goats come right to your site and uh like i said i just hope i can find some space and get myself a site once i finally get there all right well since i drew grave marker it is all uphill and yeah, it's a pretty steep incline. So I'm now at the meadow. So I decided, all right, this will be my first real break of the day. Nice to get the pack off, chill out a little bit. Beautiful wildflowers. Now it's dead quiet. So I believe gone about 5.3. I have probably about another mile to get there. And there's supposed to be another section of hills as well. So I'm going to drink up, have a little snack. Maybe just chill out for about five minutes, get back on the trail. And again, it will start going uh, uphill soon, but uh, sun's back out. Clouds are coming in a little bit, but nothing that I'm worried about. But man, absolutely beautiful out here. All right, finally made it. At least a couple hundred yards. Definitely up hills. So the true trail mileage is like about six and a half. So the video may be seven. So tiring, not long. All right. So now you can see there is spraying drops just coming down. I am now going to scout out, find a good camp area. But here is the lake. All right, once I get my site, get set up, I'll check in. All right, so I just found what I'm going to call camp. So literally, I my pack on. First sign of goats. Wow, there's some babies with them. 
So, all right, I'm sure they'll work, work, ugh, work their way over here in a bit. You can tell I'm a little tired right now, so time to get camp set up and uh, get some fluids into me and a snack. And then uh, maybe I either a micro nap or I'm gonna hit that lake, but the weather looks good so far. And I'm gonna assume I've got a group here, one there. I walked way to the other side, didn't like it as much. So again, in theory, you're supposed to be 100 feet away. So this looks like I've met that criteria there. So I will set up here. And once I either fish or get stuff going, I'll check in. More goat action. Definitely no shyness here. So, all right, I'm gonna go walk part of the lake just to see how the fishing might be and uh, see a good spot to go. I got water down over there a bit ago in that inlet that looks like it's closed off, so no fishing in there. But I do believe there should be some fishing out here in the lake. You can see there's tons of people doing photography of these goats that are literally hanging out here. And there's a lot of little ones and some of them are milking, but uh, Every now and then you'll hear people clap at them because these they are not shy at all. And they kind of uh, snort their nose at you too. So a lot of the males right there with the horns, again, they'll just come right over here. It'll be interesting to see what the night is like if they're actually walking through your sight at night. But it, that's a big boy right there. If he wanted to, he could do some damage. All right, time to go on a little walk. All right, good evening. It is just after four o'clock. I am at the lake. So walked around for a while. Beautiful lake. Uh, there is fish in it. I have seen a couple. So can't really see any right now. Kind of dark, but there's definitely fish in it. So I've got my Tenkara. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a shot. And if I do catch anything, I'll let you take a look at it right here. But so far I have not been very lucky with it. But if I'm in an area where it's not too windy and I can get on these rocks, I should be able to do some fishing here. And I believe the route tomorrow, if I decide to do it, it's going to be up there. That looks pretty wild. Um, the only other thing is I usually wear water shoes. So I have like sandals, I think, and um, I have one of them. So somehow, somewhere on that trail, one of them bounced off. So I'm hoping to find it my way back, but otherwise I would probably kind of wade in to some of these areas that are not too deep. But oh well, what are you going to do? All right, time to get fishing. Okay, 4.45 dinner time. Here's the view from my site. Beautiful. And you can see the purple clouds. So I was fishing kind of that way, other side of those trees. I'm not kidding. I fished for five minutes and then kaboom, we heard a crack. And I was like, all right, I better go make dinner, get that over with. So I'm having chili with Fritos. Again, I dehydrate, make myself. And that helping is twice as big as what I'm going to have. But Either way, I'm going to dig in. Uh, the other nice thing about the site that is interesting, I would say, is you can see where the goats rub up on the trees. Um, almost looks like clumps of cat fur. So they literally, I mean, they are right in your sight when they're over here. There is no games at all with them right here and there around here. But <clears throat> haven't seen them for a while, so they're predominantly coming down from over here. Don't see them now. Maybe they kind of take off in the afternoons, but oh well. Time for dinner. All right, so it's six o'clock. Actually, there's hikers that are showing up on the trail down there. I just walked the entire lake. So there's a group there. There's a group over there. And the people over here were kind of walking behind me. But I went ahead and I went probably a third the way up that saddle. So beyond all that rock over there is where that other trail is. And it is all scree and talus. So is it a trail? I'm gonna say no. Is it a route? I'm going to say yes. Um, I would definitely not do that with a backpack. So depending on how the weather is tomorrow, I may at least get closer to it. Like I said, right now I was just casually doing it and I was like, what the heck? So I'd say I made it, I don't know, that's probably only a quarter. But you can see snow at the top of that one. So I rocked the whole perimeter of the lake and kind of looking for routes up. The problem with that is that other area goes into it. So that is definitely not it. So it's got to be over there. That's the real deal right there. So I would not backpack that, but I may hike it. So very quiet now, you can hear the thunder. Another reason why I'm not fishing now is like, oh, I wanna fish, it's getting windy. 
I'm hoping tomorrow in the morning for some dead time right here. Uh, deeper water, much, much more ugh, over there. Can't speak right now. Um, so I will definitely try it again tomorrow, but it's been a good day. People are kind of putting their stuff away and others are just arriving over here. So yeah, there's probably gonna be five or six groups here tonight. So I'm probably gonna read the Kindle and all that. So I've hiked around, I have an idea of the land. I'm gonna leave my water out, curious if it will freeze. And since I'm not worried about bears and it's more of the goats, and I actually saw the huge group over there. So I think they were retreating back up. I'm probably gonna leave my stuff right here just so I can hear if anything is playing with it. But so far today, no problems with them, but they definitely kind of get really close to you, five, six feet. And it looks like the big males are kind of testing you right there. But I had one gallop through earlier. That was the only one that I thought was maybe a little aggressive. Otherwise, interesting. All right, I am going to, uh, again, do some reading, drink more water, and I'll check in with you in the morning. Good morning, welcome to day two. Beautiful morning, look at this. And I've already had a group over here leave and the group over here just left. So there's a couple more that came in late last night over there, but otherwise kind of myself. Did notice the battery in my GoPro is very low and I did not bring the cord. So I'm not gonna be shooting a lot of video today, but I am gonna do some fishing. So I'll bring it with me. If I catch one, I'll film it. Otherwise I won't. And then I am gonna attempt to go way up to the left above that saddle. If I do make it partially up there, I'll certainly take quick videos, but I am down to about a quarter battery now. So not a lot of video today, but still gonna have a great day here at Gore Lake. Breakfast is on, coffee, muffin bomb, time to eat. Thought I'd give you a 360 about the lake. Beautiful. So again, the lake is right over here. Maybe a couple hundred feet above it. You can see a couple tents out. A lot of groups have already left. And I wanted to kind of check out the other side, which is, man, that's fantastic. So the area, a couple 13ers that we're surrounded by. Definitely a lot of talus and rock, but you can see green in the chutes. Even up here, you can see why the goats live here. So I'm kind of looking at going this direction, see if I can get up and around that. I'm curious if that can shortcut going all the way over there instead. So again, I might as well play around out here and explore since the uh, fishing is not so great. I can get them, they will dart like really fast three feet at my fly and they can stop and they turn. And I change flies once. So I did it for about an hour. I'll try it again today, but I am a no-go so far in fish, but there are fish in there. They're just not very plentiful, but every now and then one will go by and kind of go for it for five, six minutes. But again, no luck so far, so I might as well get up and enjoy this scenery. All right, this is about as far as I made it last night, so the lake is now out of view, downhill to the right. And I believe the saddle with the snow right there, that is how you get to that lake. And as I'm looking, no problem. But that last, gosh, it's gotta be a couple hundred feet. That does not look too, uh, too easy to do right there. So I think I'm gonna go a little further up there, but I'm not going to do the whole thing. But uh, neat area, and the wind is definitely picking up. Sweet view up here. It's a little challenging getting up here. Lots of uh, water and holes, kind of following the uh, goat trails. So I believe it actually may be over there. So if you were to go right where that big chute is and go left and follow the grass line, I think that would take you up. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And I'm actually blocked right here, but there's another false. And the one I was looking at was over there. I am pretty sure that's what it is right there. And I think once you got to that grassy area, again, definitely challenging, but doable, but I would not do that with a backpack. So I think I am gonna start heading back down, take my time and kind of maybe work my way over here. Definitely an awesome area. I heard some uh, goats over here. So my last hike on the other side, I walked into some and I said, whoops, and turned around. So I'm definitely now in their territory. And you're by your tent and by the lake. I'm not too worried about it, but up here, if you ran into a herd of them, who knows? They may see that as aggressive or not, but definitely a rock pile right here and the real deal out here. So beautiful. All right, back to the hike. All right, so the lake, you can see it now, it's back over there. I just came from way over there, came down through here. And as I was coming down, I saw a few hikers 
real hard to see. They're kind of in the middle of the rock pile here, but you can see that is just an endless rock pile hopping them, grass around it and over to that way. So I can see it, but I'm not gonna do that with a water bottle and a GoPro stick. I think if you had a pack on, you're like, all right, I'll rock hop, absolutely doable. I will not, but this is definitely the route to Snow Lake and they should be there hopefully 30 to 45 minutes. And uh, maybe as I work my way down, I'll be able to see them at the top. But all right, I'm heading back to the lake. All right, I'm a minute from camp and here's what's waiting for me. Thirty, forty of them. This is probably the herd. I scared when I did the hike over there earlier. Good size. All right, trail is here, so. As long as they stay here, we'll be okay. All right, goats are definitely here. All right, trying to conserve my battery. So it is about 6 p.m. at night, and if you look around, there are tents everywhere, and people, and a lot went way up there. So very popular place, so I'm probably gonna do some reading. Got my Kindle, and probably try to go to bed at eight o'clock, get up at a decent time tomorrow, because my prediction is all these other people We'll be doing the same thing as me and trying to get out of here. So try to get an early start, get out. So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, it's 6.30 a.m. And I literally just stepped outside my tent. Kind of look at the morning so far. You see people are just starting to get up. So today, pack up, head back. I think I am gonna have my breakfast first. I definitely want some coffee and uh, some hot cereal, but Hopefully I will be out of here in an hour and on the trail. All right, just before 7.30, last look at the lake. Absolutely gorgeous destination for backpacking. And the fishing is, it's okay. But definitely a beautiful, beautiful place. All right, time to start heading back down the trail. Okay, hiking back, and I believe I'm ahead of everyone. I've had a couple of groups coming up. Pretty early start for day hikers. Mushrooms everywhere. Look at these. They are all over the place. Different colors. Don't know what kind they are. Definitely not the edible kind that you play with. But uh, making my way back. Running water. Great temperature. So again, I don't have a lot of battery left. So I'll just take a quick few videos here and there. But great start to the day. All right, so I made it back to the roadway. Great trip. Hike was about three hours down. Didn't do video because I think the battery is about out. And uh, an awesome place. I would definitely come back and recommend it. Here's the roadway in front of me. And this trail is packed. Thanks for watching my video.